Okay guys, so I just talked to a police officer and what we got going here is a nuclear warhead missile coming through. They got all the side streets blocked off. They are allowing oncoming traffic, but very limited. Check this out. Oh my God, here they come, here they come. Oh my God. This... Is this telling us something, guys? Is, are we going? Are we getting ready for a nuclear fallout, guys? Wow. Hey, I've been here a long time, and I haven't seen this kind of stuff, guys. There it is. There it is. Holy cow! Look at the precision driving. Oh my. Those guys are ready to pop up and kill anybody at any given time. I promise. Wow, I'm shaking. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When its branches yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that the summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. The elders and apostles, the great millstone, the teacher rule well. Peace and salutations be to all the elect. Brother Tazwam and with me I have the brother Yakal coming at you from the province of Babylon camp here in Tampa, Florida. Alright, uh, we're going to get double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone once again. This lesson is going to be going into nuclear missiles, the waster to destroy, man. Alright, you just had a uh, North, they were carrying a, a whole nuclear missile in a truck, in a semi truck, and they had precision driving. Where a military, you can tell it was a nuclear missile because they had military uh, vessels and military trucks driving around it and protecting it just to get it to its designated uh, spot, man. All right, so we're at the time now where you seeing these things up close. I think it took up a whole semi truck, man. Okay, the 53 footers, man. All right. They're gonna they're getting ready to shoot these things off. You ain't seeing these things being transported and moved throughout the cities for no reason, man. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it with the scriptures. So I'm gonna bring it back. This is uh Matthew 24 and verse 32. Start verse uh con. It says, Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When its branches yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that the summer is not. So So when the branch is tender and it put it forth leaves, you know that the summer is near, man. Yep. Okay, you know that it's time to reap of those fruits. Yep. Okay, it's the same thing with what's going on in the world, man. Okay, we're nearing that time to where they're about to shoot this shit off. We're about to have, we're about to go into a nuclear fallout. Even the guy in the, himself in the video said, we're about to enter into a nuclear fallout. Okay, he's asking these questions because he's seeing all the answers. <laughs> right. You know, the answer's right in front of you, of course. Okay, they didn't create these things for no reason. Okay, the Lord say, you know, uh, if you can grab it also, Baba Shah. Um... My words should not go out void, but it, it, shall, it should not return to me void. So like it. But um, these things are going to take place because they were meant to take place. From the beginning, the Lord has scheduled uh, for the earth to, to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. And it's not going to be the whole earth, but the countries within it. You know, the nations are going to suffer through fire. That's right. America, America's going to be completely obliter obliterated by right, that nuclear uh, a war, man. You know, that's the way the Lord chose his place to go out in, this, in the latter end. You see, and you know, like the brother said uh, earlier, you know, they got these things a uh, prepared. You know, they don't got it to uh, hanging up like a Christmas ornament and take pictures with it. Now they got them to be shut off. Right. You know, this is uh, Isaiah 55 and verse 11. This is what you asked for. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But, but it shall accomplish that which I please and The it's Lord said what? This, that, that America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man You know It's not going to Since he said that, what? The Lord is a man of his word, man That's not going to return to him void He ain't say it for no reason All right? he ain't, The Lord doesn't make empty promises, man And neither does he threaten for no reason Okay So the Lord has The scriptures say He shall threaten who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence Babylon is going to be beaten to powder by the nuclear missiles. Missiles, man. Okay. It goes on to say, But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. 
man. So the Lord, hey, that it's gonna prosper in that which the most high said it, man. Alright? And the Lord said what? Uh set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Which is Edom. But guess what? Edom is primarily here in Babylon, bro, America. So the Lord say, hey, he's he's against Mount Seir. And he has a weapon for him to take this place out, man. You know, which is the nuclear missiles. Oh, that's how the that's how the most high wants to judge America, bro. That's right. And he can judge it any way he wants to. But that's yeah. the particular judgment he chose. Yep, now you the Lord gonna make it look like you brought it upon yourselves, man. Yep. All right. And you're gonna judge you with the things in the earth. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna be destroyed by the things that, by your own creation, by your own devices, right? Uh, Psalms, uh, book of Psalms say that the heathen are taken in the foot. Their foot is taken in the net which they made, man. You know, they laid the net a trap. Which what these nuclear missiles? Okay, the things that they do, like the C9. Okay, the MOTB, all the all their people, all the people are going to be taken in these things, man. But mainly so the the, the nuclear missiles. That's right. Okay, because we had the Germans uh, up in armor come up with the nuclear missiles, man. The atomic bomb. The atomic bomb, yeah, constantly. The atomic bomb, and what? These devils just added on to it from there. And they thought what? That they were just going to get away? Even he said he regret making it. You know, he regretted making it for a good reason because he saw the end of his own people, man. You know, he said, oh shit, the world is going to be destroyed by this, man. You know, going too far. And he, he didn't realize it because the Lord had put a spirit on him to do it, to do his will. You know, and after it was done, then regret settled in. What did I just do? The world is going to use this to destroy each other. You know? Right. Yeah, that's 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 the fear of your high boss and I was shot, man. Okay? And this is how the Lord chose his place to go out. Once again. I got a precept right quick. Uh this is the book of Second Peter chapter two and verse six. It says, In turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. All right, which the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with what? Fire and brimstone, man. All right, and I was an example, you know. The Lord gave him a taste of what he's gonna do here to America, man. He said that was an example to uh, what he's gonna do after to those that live ungodly, bro. And you go to Sodom and Gomorrah, there's nothing left it's nothing left remaining, you know, but, uh, uh, but the residue of brimstone. <laughs> That's all you're going to find over there. You go to Sodom and Gomorrah, you're you going to see sulfur and brimstone, bro. You can't plant nothing over there. You can't. It, 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 it's it's no, no life over there. So the Lord said, I was an example to those that live ungodly after. And what's what? We know that America is uh, spiritually what? Spir spiritually Sodom. Spiritually Egypt. Yep. Okay. So guess what, man? The Lord is going to uh, uh, make speedy riddance of this place. That was a foreshadow. That was a foreshadow, right. It happened on a, uh, on a smaller level. To show you what's gonna happen in the end of the world on a greater on a greater scale, man. That's right. Okay, this <laughs> Babylon is gonna be destroyed with a great overthrow, man. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, they were once talking about Egypt. The whole world was talking about Egypt's overthrow, but they ain't, they ain't gonna be talking about that no more. They're gonna now be talking about Babylon's overthrow. How great that's gonna be, man. Yeah. Okay. The Lord came and delivered His people yep. from about the hands of Babylon and destroyed it. Okay, and and it's gonna be destroyed utterly, man. That's right. Babylon, ain't, the, the soldiers ain't going to be let out to the sea and drown in the sea. No, man. Their land is going to be completely desolate. That's right. It's going to be completely destroyed, man. I got a precept. This is the book of Revelation 18, verse 7. It says, how much has she glorified herself mm. and lived deliciously? Right. Because America a, is prosperous off of the resources of these other lands, right. these other nations. It says, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I said a queen and, a, and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Right. And that's the spirit of these Americans, man. America can never be touched. America can never be. So we have the greatest military. We have the greatest defense system. We, we, we're, we're the greatest nation on the earth. Mm. At one point in time, Egypt was thought to be the greatest nation on earth. And guess what? The Lord is greater than Egypt, bro. The Lord is greater than America. It says. That's that, why the Lord say he's going to do it for his name's sake. For his name's sake, right. Because these, these devils say, uh, what? They, they, she said, uh, Babylon say, I said a queen. And no widow. Okay. I said, I shall make myself like the most high. You know, I shall set my nest above, uh, you know, above the stars. You know, hey, the, the Lord is about to humble this place, man. Yeah. The Lord is about to humble Esau, Edom, and show the whole world 
uh, who, who he is, man. That's what the Lord said. What he said, I will not meet thee as a man. You know, so he he gonna show you. He gonna show you that you're nothing but earth and ashes, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. You know, so the, hey, America is going to be completely uh, 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 um, taken with fire, man. All right. That's the judgment of you. How about Shema was shy? Uh, that's the way the Lord chose his place to go out, man. Because of the wickedness, which it tells you in second measure that wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. OK, but wickedness, hey, the headquarter of wickedness is America, bro. Mm. That's why the Lord got to take this place out the way he takes it out, man. Because this is where wickedness flourishes. You know how you got like a, uh, uh, you got like a, a, a um, pest control. You know, you gotta get rid of the, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, wipe out the roots of the pest. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Or it's gonna keep coming back. And what's the roots of wickedness right here, in America, man? This is this is this is where wickedness is, is, is flourishes. You know. Through sage shall leave them neither root nor branch. Neither the root nor branch. It's so right. They ain't, ain't gonna be no more. Uh, Babylon Return or Babylon Part Two. Yeah, no Renaissance again. Right, ain't gonna be no more of that, man. This is a this is, hey, this is the last time, man. Yep, this is the last time. So the Lord's about to uh, judge this place, man. And the Lord got these nations and the, the Lord got everybody in the spirit of war, man. You know, Putin, China, all these other nations. You know, they, they're 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 arming themselves. They're preparing themselves for war. Meanwhile, the average American is 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 going to eat a fucking donut, bro. Order a milkshake or some DoorDash or something, but these other nations they're they're preparing for war because the Lord's put a spirit of war on them. You know, Putin said he uh he isn't bluffing. All right, Putin isn't bluffing, man. He ain't playing. <laughs> what uh what uh, uh what your boy Craig uh told Smokey on Friday is that everybody er nobody ain't nobody playing but you. You walk man. up or you walk up and down the street all day playing. You think man. he playing by his money? <laughs> hey, the Most High, you how about him outside? Ain't playing, man. All right, everybody about to realize that very soon, bro. When when motherfucking news get shot off in the air, that's when that's when everything gonna come back. You know, that's when reality really gonna set in for a lot of you people, man. That's when they gonna stop playing. Yeah, that's, that's when playtime gonna be over. Um, I'm gonna grab this right quick. In Ecclesiastes three, this is uh the book of Ecclesiastes. All right, chapter three, in verse. Find it right quick. Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse one: To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, man. So everything has its time and place. All right, and right now it is in the time of place uh, uh, to be uh, 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 in a complacent and in a spirit of mirth, man. Now is the time uh, for you to be seeking out your salvation, because now is the time where the Lord is about to visit the earth which He made, bro. And when the Lord visits the earth, he, he, he isn't coming with hugs and kisses, man. The Lord's coming with uh, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know, nothing good is coming to this place. The Lord said he's angry with the wicked every day, man. All right, and if he did that Sodom and Gomorrah, how much more in this latter time, man? How much more now? When wickedness is at wickedness exceedingly. All right, so wickedness is far greater than what it was in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Greater evils came, you know? That's it, right. It's um, Ecclesiastes. Yeah, back then, even even a woman had clothes on back then. Right. And then in today's time, these bitches practically walk around naked. We got Jake. Uh, you got uh, motherfuckers chopping their rods off, man. Yeah. Woman cutting their breast off. Uh, little boys taking chopping a, it. Woman taking testosterone pills. Yeah. And shit. Men taking uh. Woman with deep voices and mustaches. What's that? Uh, men taking estrogen pills. It's yeah. called. Yep. So estrogen. To to become uh more effeminate. Grow breasts. Grow breasts? Man, that's fucking sick, man. <clears throat> Alright, that's why the Lord about to visit this place with fire, bro. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8. A time of love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace, man. And right now we're in a time of war. Alright, we're in a time of war, man. We're in, the, we're in a time where the Lord is about to start judging these nations, man. Okay? Well, uh, you had it, um... Uh an article just came out where America just filed its first file for its first war crime, man. Wow. You know? So, that just goes to show you we're already in war. That's right. All right? There ain't, there ain't no it's possibly a war. It may be a war in the future. Start we're already started. in war. Start man. started, bro. That's the whole, that's the whole twist to root. That's where you got fucked up at. 
because we're already in the war, man. Right. It's just only going to get worse. Right. You know, just because you ain't feel the effects of it yet, I mean, we ain't in a war. Right. Machine is happening. Things are being uh, made and uh, taken into play. Things are moving around, man. Yep. Okay. There's only a matter of time now before the sky cracks and there's nuclear missiles in there. And Yahweh shies in the sky and everybody's getting judged, man. That's right. My brother said, you know, we in a time of war, man. And you, you just can't see it yet. But you about to feel it very soon, bro. And what comes with war? Uh, war, warlike laws. Okay, martial laws coming. They about to shut. They about to shut this biz down. You think you ain't have no liberty going back to 2020 when they shut you down? You really not gonna have no liberty when they actually got the military on the street. Mm. All right, you got the you know, the U.S. saying they about to bring the draft back. So what? Hey, that's that's man. That's that's gonna be a horrible time, bro. People gonna be wailing and mourning because their sons and daughters are getting shipped off the war. Taking out the house. Taking you gonna be you. Hey, hey, you it's, ain't got no it's gonna be mandatory. You gonna get drug out your house, and you gonna be the, the Lord gonna send you to that war, man. So He can send you to meet your Maker, bro. And you either going to the war, or you going to prison. That's right. You go to prison, they are gonna take your ass, put your ass in the war still. Yeah. <laughs> or to prison, and hey, you go to right. prison, you gonna be in them fucking camps, them, them uh, F E A F E M A camps. Yeah. All right. Getting told to take the C H I P, or they gonna put you to D E A T H. All right, that's the re that's what that's what the that's the reality, bro. That's the reality. They gonna bring you in there, man. Right. They gonna have your ass strapped down to a chair in each cell. That's right. And, and got a TV playing. Re-education camps. Yep. Yep. And people right now, oh, you guys are crazy. You got conspiracy. <laughs> this is America. We have freedom. We have rights. All of a sudden, it ain't, it ain't starting. To, it ain't sounding too crazy no more, is it? Yeah, that's right. Right. You know. Yeah. Till 2020. Yeah. Uh, Conspiracy theories was a main, a huge thing. Yep. I ask conspiracy. I ask conspiracy theories. You can just throw it, throw out. You can throw, throw out that hardcore word. facts. <laughs> throw that word out lightly. You know. Yeah. Now motherfuckers start saying, "Oh shit, man, the, the conspiracy theorists are right." Yeah. You, you, know? can, you can just throw hardcore facts under the bus when you use the word conspiracy theory. Yep. You use that word, you cover up everything. Cover up everything. It's a, it's they can tell you. They can tell you who did uh nine one one. You know. Throw the word conspiracy theory. That's when you know. That's where they say it originated from. Yep. Because they came out with that to protect them against that that whole situation. Two twin towers, man. Yep. A conspiracy theory, which is a conspiracy fact, man. All right. And guess what? You average Americans, you're being conspired against. You know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's their, by their own government. By your own government. <laughs> and guess what? Hey, it's, they they they're about to come. <clears throat> their plans is about to come into uh, fruition. All right. They're about to really come down with that wrath, man. Your man. biggest enemy is your own, the, the, the leaders you serve, man. That's right. You thinking it's over there in the Middle East somewhere? No, you're, you're sitting underneath their enemies. Sitting underneath them, yeah. <laughs> in the same land, and they, they they giving you bread and circus to keep your ass in a in a goo guy guy state. Yeah. You know, when shit is when shit is literally hitting the fan, man. Sun's at four. Yep. You got people fighting over the football teams, and yeah. the basketball teams, and shit, and the scores and shit. <laughs> While these niggas. Sneaking a nuclear missile through the city. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You don't wanna who gonna who gonna win this 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 weekend or whatever. These niggas just snuck a nuclear missile past your car, man. That's right. You and you driving in the car on your phone, looking up who playing, a nuclear missile passed by your ass. Right, right. You don't even know it's getting ready to be shot off soon. You don't even know it's getting ready. Right, right. And guess what, man, you Jakes, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, it, you should you should be ecstatic. That these things are happening, man. These prophecies, you know, it's, it's happening for us, man. The Lord told us to look out for these things because our salvation is nigh, you know. But you niggas in the, you, you niggas, you know, it's like y'all want to stay here, man. You know, we in a time where the Lord is about to redeem us from our captivity, bro. You know, that's, that's why the Lord is about to intervene. That's why the Lord is about to step in, man, because the Lord is about to make things shake for us, man. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 1. And what's what's, what's going to be so uh, terrifying about it is it's a, it's almost like a natural disaster. Right. <laughs> a natural disaster is something you cannot control. Yeah. An earthquake, a huge-ass tsunami. Even getting in the water, you know, the waves start getting a little boisterous. Your ass getting tossed to and fro. You can't control that, man. The best thing you can do is try to get away from it and hope that somebody can save you from it because you can't control the waves of the water. Neither can you control the, the, the heat of the sun, man. Like a not like a natural disaster, these nuclear missiles are gonna take place. They're gonna happen when they hit. You ain't gonna be able to stop it, you ain't gonna be able to hide from it. Right. There's nothing you'll be able to do against it, man. You know, that's what makes it 
so terrifying to people because this is we're talking about an event that's about to take place in the earth that you cannot prevent. Now, what, what Thanos said, I'm inevitable. Mm. Hey, these nukes are inevitable, man. <laughs> all right. Hey, all all roads point to the end. Man. Yep. <laughs> There's yeah. there is an end to this society, to this world. That's right. America is no different from ancient Rome. America is no different from ancient Egypt, bro. What, what what the fuck makes you think America is different from all these other nations that once we're in power and we're taken out, bro? Wow. America America's gonna be <laughs> right. America America's gonna be another uh, 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 kingdom in a history book. Yeah. You know, you go to school and you oh wow, ancient <laughs> ancient Egypt. Yep. And that's why, oh, shit, what's America? Like the scripture says, it's going to come to pass. Right, America's going to come to pass. America's going to come to pass, <laughs> It's going to be a thing of the past, It's going to be a thing of the past. That's right. You remember America? Yeah, you still remember that? Right. No, about that. It's going to be like a bad dream, man. Right. But guess what? The special thing about America is you ain't going to have no goddamn ancient artifacts in this place, man. Right. Like, <laughs> the, you can still dig up ancient like, artifacts like, and shit. Yeah, like you go to Egypt and you can see the pyramids of Giza. You ain't going to you ain't gonna come over. You ain't going to be able to come to America and see the Washington Monument, bro. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Lady Lord, Liberty. Lord, Lady, Lady Liberty, right. It's going to be underwater. It's going to be fucking evaporated, bro. Fucking gone. Uh, scripture says that shall not be one stone upon another, man. Mm -hmm. So, hey, that's that's what the Lord about to do to this place. The, the, the monument of America is going to be a, a, a big-ass desert. Because the Lord has hate for this place. Right. It's not like, though, <laughs> you're not like he's going to destroy it and use its, its burnt artifacts for uh, an example to the future. No, man. This is the it. This is it. This is the end. The only thing that's gonna be used for an example is a, a, a birthmark on the earth, man. Right. It's gonna be a big ass black desert. Right. I'm gonna fly by and say, "Damn, what used to be there? Right. Was there ever anything there? You know how bad this place gonna look because the Lord, the Lord literally hates this land, man. What do they do to make the Lord that mad? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Joel three and verse one. It says, "For behold, in those days and in that time." When I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, mm. all right. So the Lord is the Lord is doing this for Judah and Jerusalem, man. All right, all these things is happening in the earth is happening for our sake. Abraham says, "I we be that elect, man." It's happening for your sake, Jay. It says, "I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh's Shapat, Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel." Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So the Lord is going to do that. He's going to bring them down to the Middle East and judge them for Israel's sake, man. All right, and for His sake. So these things are happening for us. So we, when we, when we hear about Putin saying he's going to melt uh, uh, Babylon, and we, ain't, we ain't frantic. We want him to do it. <laughs> but imagine that though. Be you over there in war in the Middle East, fucking AR on your hand. You shooting and everything pauses and the sky cracks. Wow. There's nuclear missiles all in the air. And the Lord will come down and tell you the people that you've been oppressing all your life is the sp most special people upon the face of the earth. And that those are his people. And that's yep. what he coming to say. <laughs> How city you gonna feel in that day, man? Yep. You know? But much more, you you jakes. When you over there in the Middle East fighting and scrapping and shit, getting ready to try to fight against the Lord, and he tells you that you are his people. Like you, you still oh shit! How do we get this guy out of the air? Wow, that's Jake. Jake, too far gone. The scripture say there is no remedy, man. The Lord say your, your eyes and your tongue will melt away in the sockets, man. You know, that's that's what that's what's gonna happen when you meet him over there, man. Yeah, the Lord, cause the Lord gonna pop up in the Middle East and then he gonna make his way over here to America, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, so you Jake's over there, you man, you go to war, bro. You getting ready to meet your maker, man. <laughs> You going over there to meet your house trying to be destroyed, man. Right. Unless the Lord has a uh, miraculous mercy upon you. But hey, you know, other than that, man, you think that go to that, you get drafted, man. You through. You ain't coming back home. <laughs> All right? There <laughs> ain't going to be no home to come back to. <laughs> it's going to be utterly destroyed, man. Right. Jeremiah Damn. twenty Jeremiah 25, verse 31. Damn. Hey, that's the, that's the curses, though, yep, man. Yep, yep. You know, just like Jacob, the scripture says that the curse is, you know, you're going to die in a strange land. Yep. You know, now all these fucking heathens, these Edomites, they're going to die in strange lands as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hoping to come back to your wife and kids. Ooh. Ah, man, you're, you're going to get blown up over there and it's going to get, your wife and kids going to get blown up over here. Right. Get me up in the spirit room. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah 25 and 31. A noise shall come even to the end of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with the nations. Right. For what it did to us, man. It says he will plead with all flesh 
he will give them that are wicked to the sword, said the Lord. Mm. You know? So the Lord, uh, he's, he's going to plead with all flesh. How, man? How is he going to plead with all flesh? Isaiah 66 and verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, so the Lord, the Lord's gonna come. He and He gonna plead with all these nations by the by that fire, man, by that nuclear fire, man, in front of them uh, laser beams from the chariots, man. I saw the Lord gonna plead with all flesh when He comes back, man. You know, He has He has an art with these nations. And if you take that chip, the Lord got an art with you too, man. That's right. You know, you got even heathens dreaming about that day of wrath, man. Yeah. Even heathens dreaming about <laughs> you know how destructive that they're gonna be. You know, you got non-believers dreaming about that day because the Lord pouring the spirit out in the earth. Yep. There ain't no escaping it, man. Whether you believe or you don't believe, whether you believe this or you believe that, hey, at the end of the day, unbelief ain't gonna make void, you know. The judgment of the Yahweh wash your mouth. That's right. That's what scripture say, man. Shall uh shall shall, you know, uh what if some for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? Is your unbelief gonna stop this shit from happening? Hell no, man. <laughs> Hell no. Your unbelief, you gonna die in your unbelief, man. Just because you don't believe the sun gonna rise up in the morning, it don't mean it ain't gonna rise up in the morning. Down man gonna rise up in the morning, right, right, absolutely. So you know, all you people out there that's been scoffing, mocking, talking shit, alright, you about to, you about to see, man, you about to witness there is a God, and his name is Yahweh, his son name is Yahweh Shah, man. And there is a God in Israel, man. All right, he's about to visit the earth, man, by way of judgment. You all right? Judgment. That's that's what's, wrong, that's what's wrong with the earth now, man. There is no judgment, man. All right? A lot of things wouldn't be taking place if, 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 if judgment was going out. But the Most High is saving, he's saving a special judgment. That's why he's preserving all you people, man. That's why he's letting you build up your offenses. Letting you build up your offenses. Your he got He got a special He got a special judgment for your ass, man. Mm -hmm. He's going to burn you. He's going to burn you with fire, bro. He gonna burn you. He gonna burn this bitch, man. The Lord, hey, the Lord, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, man. And one of His promises that He gonna destroy America, bro. Believe that, man. Believe that, God. Believe that, bro. The Lord, hey, don't think for one second the Lord ain't gonna. Hey, you watch and see, man. <laughs> you got Jake that you know the, the Lord is not the Lord is not a mortal. The Lord is a God, man. Right. We may say we gonna do something, you know. Uh, you know, we won't end up doing it. But when the Lord say He gonna do something, the Lord do it, man. <laughs> and one thing the Lord said He's gonna do is He's gonna destroy this place, man. All right. Yeah, so it's America, gonna get done, man. It's gonna get done. Don't, so you, you don't believe it? Don't you want to risk that? Go ahead and then test your fucking luck. Yep. Find out the hard way. You see how far that get you, man. <laughs> but guess what? We we hey, we you know we 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 are excited that we're seeing uh, 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 Babylon trying to stock up on nukes and hey, it's done, bro. It's done. Yep. All right, all these other nations, they they getting ready to jump this bitch, man. Even its own allies. Yep. Scripture says the beast shall hate the whore. Even even America's own allies are gonna shoot nukes over here, man. Yeah. America's gonna be completely surrounded, bro. World War Three is a terror to those that belong to this world, man. Woo. To us, it looks like salvation. Right. So we happy to see that shit, man. Right, and that's gonna be hell of a time too, man. Especially for the uh, remnant, the believers. Lord willing, it's, Lord willing, it's us. All right, this this is the place of our captivity, man. Fuck this place. This, it, it, it it don't change. It don't do us no uh, benefit being here, you know. But you got Jake uh, 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 that want to inquire the white man's salvation. You need to acquire your own salvation, bro. Jake asking what kind of jobs you gonna have in the kingdom. Bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> what kind of shit. Some people just too far gone, man. You're stuck in this world. Yep. The scripture says the day of doom. Let me grab that right quick. This is uh second Ezra chapter uh seven verse forty-three. It says, <clears throat> But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. What's the day of doom? The day them nukes get shot over here, bro. Alright? The day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of, of the immortality for to come. Where corruption is past, all right. So, man, we about to enter into a whole new man. We about to enter into a whole new world, man. All right, a world of righteousness, a world where the so-called Negro, Latino, man, woman, and child can actually live, man. That's right. We ain't gonna be oppressed no more. All right. 
The city is building where rest is allowed. Rest is allowed. And Michael 210 said, depart ye from this is not your rest. Yep. We ain't in our rest right now, man. That's why the soles of your feet hurt while you're sleeping. True <laughs> shit. Wake up to go and use them again. Yep. You know? We ain't in our rest, man. We are in continuous labor. All right? Continuous affliction and persecution. Right. You curse when you go out and curse when you come in. Woo. You know? We, we come into a time where we ain't going to have to feel that no more, man. That's right. You know, these Edomites don't feel fucking uh, scared to step outside their house. They don't feel nervous to go into, into the public or whatever, man. <laughs> you know, to drive on the street. Yeah. <laughs> They say another day in paradise. Yeah, well, what's another, we heard that today. Yeah, well, it's, an, it's another. It's good. It's another day in our hell, right? Life is good, but our life fucking sucks, bro. Yeah, we in hell, man. <laughs> All right, but guess what? Soon we gonna be living, man. Mm-hmm. It says, um, you know, eating my living when he fucking fifty years old, white hair, you know, fifty, sixty years old, white hair, top down on his on his car, got a boat. Got a boat on the back of that motherfucker, whatever it is. Both on the boat on the back of the truck. A young, bl- a young blondie in his passenger seat. Yeah. His, his arm hanging out the door. <laughs> hey, I, I seen a fucking Edomite one time. Um, <clears throat> I was at my job. I was at my old job. And I was basically taking out the trash. I was, you know, I was doing the trash and shit. And um, I seen an Edomite with a brand new fucking 2023 Jeep, man. And on his tag, it said, Living. With, oh th- with with three V's, and I was like a slap in my yeah, face. Man. Then he had, then he had, <laughs> then he had threw away the rest of the sandwich in the trash I was taking out. <laughs> oh hell! So you know, it, 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 I couldn't do nothing but laugh at the time because hey, soon we're going to be living, man. Well, Jake be sitting in these high seats in, in the workforce, maybe in these high seats in the field. Okay, and they uh make a few clicks on the computer, and they just made a whole fucking three racks, <laughs> you know. I wasn't saying three whites. They just made a. They just made your salary, man. Yep. Three clicks on my computer. Why are you taking out the trash? Mm-hmm. The only the, the, the places you see Jake at in these uh, high-paying jobs and shit is the maintenance man. Yeah. It's crazy. Second as is uh, two. Handmade. The woman be made. Yep. You no. Know? Second as is seven and forty-four. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Intemperance is at an end. So what is intemperance? Uh, well, to be temperate is to, you know, no one enough is enough. Yep. You know, not over drinking, you know, not over eating. All that shit can be cut off, man. And Babylon, uh, it induces you to do all those things. It induces you to please the flesh. Yep, that's, that's what, you know, pleasures of the flesh, man, lusts. It tells you to go after your lust and that you're going to be all right. The Lord says stay away from that shit. You're going to be trust fucked, it, man. Trust the old heart. Yep. Lean into your own understanding. Believe your own truth. That's why I said it's confusion, bro. Everybody here in Babylon is on a different... Uh, uh, everybody believes in something different. You know? You may believe one thing and I believe something else. We all can believe in our own gods. Hey, that's 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 satanic as fuck, bro. Yeah. In our kingdom, everybody going to be on one accord. You going to serve your house by Shemal Shai or we going to fucking hey, put your ass six feet under, man. <laughs> that's going to be... That's, that's, that's going to be... Hey, the kingdom of heaven going to be a goddamn dictatorship, man. All right, it's gonna be a dictatorship. Dude. It's, gonna, it's gonna be you keeping the law, statutes, commandments of our power, or your ass gonna be six feet under, man. Well, that's why Esau trying to stop it. <laughs> he don't want that to happen, man. You know, Esau don't want to go back into those times. He was beating his ass for a thousand years. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be worse this time, man. He don't want to be reminded of the dark ages. That's why he's taking so many co- uh, countermeasures, man. You know. Hey, the, the, the time is now. It says, uh, and temperance is at an end. Second as 7 and 44. And temperance is at an end. And fidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Mm. Righteousness this- is grown and truth is sprung up, man. So, hey, what? Fidelity going to be at an end, man? Okay? Fidelity going into the like, unbelief. On faithfulness. You know, on faithfulness. You're going to be faithful on that day when you see the Lord crack the sky. Right. Everybody gonna believe in that day. That's right. You don't see it at all. You know, you don't see it. Hey, that's why the scriptures say uh, they're gonna be amazed at the strangers of their salvation. Because what? That's gonna when the hour shot pulls up, they're gonna cut everything that you ever thought of. Oh, yeah. it's just black people. It ain't nothing. You gonna find out that the most special people upon the face of the earth in that day. You gonna find out that the Lord is the so-called black man. Says, 
Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that hath gotten the victory, man. So Jacob, Jacob is going to get the victory, man. Okay, and can't and, and can't nobody uh, prevent that. The elect of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is going to receive the victory in these latter days, man. You know, in the midst of uh, uh, World War Three, hey, you know, the elect going, the, the elect will overcome through Yahweh Shai, man. So you know, we hey, we love seeing these type of things, okay? Because that's a boost to our faith, all right? Because one, we've been prophesying these things for however long since we came into the truth, and two, we know our salvation is not. Right. So when we look upon these things, man. It's, it's it's exciting to us. Nothing else gets us happy besides seeing these prophecies come to pass, man. That's right. Because we know hey, by each uh, every every prophecy that comes past. It's one more, it's one step close to our salvation, man. Beautiful, beautiful sec. You got anything else? Hey, so with you, this lesson was edifying to be occupied on wealth through listening to the sincerity. This next to Master Allah, we want to give all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakodash. Shalom. Shalom.